What's up guys, thank you for watching this video. Today we are going to do something cool. We are going to transform this old television into a, ready, ta -da! into a robot traveling on this flying scooter. <laughs> That's right, if you were wondering, what is that box with those sticks on the top? Well, before flat screens, those used to be the old televisions. So we are going all the way from the past, all the way to the future. And if you want to know how to do it, just keep watching this video and I will show you step by step how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to grab this cardboard and I'm going to put it under the paper. And I do this basically to protect when I am coloring with markers. After I do this, I'm gonna grab this part and fold it in half like this. Once I fold it, I'm gonna grab the part that I just fold and I'm gonna fold it in the opposite direction, like this. And I want you guys to notice that my sketchbook is upside down and the reason is because when I unfold the folding, I unfold up on that direction. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. Once our paper is ready, we're gonna draw a line in the center to calculate that our drawing comes in the middle. After we do this, we're gonna draw a box which will be the television and also the head of the robot. So make sure that you draw a box that is big enough so when you unfold the drawing, the robot doesn't have a tiny head. <laughs> Okay, once we do this, we're gonna draw another box in the middle or inside the box that we just drew and this is going to be the screen and also the face of the robot. Now that we are finished, we are going to draw the antenna and that's very simple to draw. All you gotta draw is a curvy line and two sticks pointing on opposite directions. And at the bottom, we are going to draw just a few details, like the buttons and stuff. For example, the on, this one is going to be for the channel, this is the plus, the negative, and the volume too, and the one for the settings. Once we do this, we're gonna unfold the drawing, or open it, and we are going to draw everything that looks incomplete. For example, the box, which is also the head of the robot, and the box inside which is the screen and also the face of the robot for the eyes you gotta make sure that you draw them on the lower part and you don't cross that line so when you draw the eyes and you fold the drawing you don't see two curvy lines in the middle of the screen of the television so make sure that when you draw them you draw them in the lower part that it doesn't cross that line we're gonna draw the neck and also you wanna make sure that you keep with the line in the middle that we drew in the beginning to make sure that everything is basically to calculate that everything is equal sided on the left and on the right so it basically looks even. We're gonna draw this box which will be his stomach and also the wire system so we're gonna draw a door right here so that way you know if he has any problems they just open the door and basically fix whatever wires are damaged or something like that. This is going to be the hand and it's gonna have five fingers the same like us so it's capable of grabbing everything the same way that we do. And the next part is going to be the handle of the flying scooter and this is very simple to draw basically all you gotta draw is a straight line like this and we're gonna draw the bottom part which is what connects the handle or the wheel uh, I, I think you can call it the wheel I guess and the rest of the scooter I was thinking that it would be cool for example on the screen in the bottom that maybe when he's driving it you can use that for like turning signals for example if you're gonna turn left it shows left if you're gonna turn right it shows right and you know other stuff that maybe would be good to show on the screen and that's it now we just gotta make sure that nothing shows when we fold it and we gotta test it making sure that everything looks good and we are good to go now that we saw that everything is ready we are going to color it <laughs> all right 
Let's clean this up and start coloring this robot. Okay, so this is the part where I decided to draw the background and the reason I did it is because I felt like it was too simple and also because I feel like you couldn't really tell that he was traveling in that flying scooter so I felt like I needed to draw the background to show that image or that panorama that he's actually going somewhere. And also the background is going to give it more color because one side is water this side right here is going to be grass and in the back behind you can see the hills and everything it also has the sky and the clouds so yep I actually think that this was a good choice and now I'm coloring it this is the water uh, this part right here is going to be the grass this right here is going to be the sand and the sky I decided to draw from darker to lighter so it doesn't look very cut off because you know I can't draw all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom because we have to fold the drawing so for everything like the road right here I also had to fade it a little bit so it doesn't show when we fold the drawing and this is it this is what it looks like completely finished as you can see it's not showing anything when I fold it and when I unfold it you can see all the background so I think it looks perfect and one tip to do it this way is basically I use like a tissue for this part to basically fade it and it's not gonna show anything so yep I hope you guys like this video and if you guys do don't forget to give it a thumbs up also don't forget to follow me on social media and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos I hope that these videos are entertaining enough for now that you have to stay home and I also hope that you guys are fine and safe. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day.